Welcome to Upstate. My name is Jess and today, this month, we're learning that we can be resilient because God is always with us. We've learned that we can choose joy when life gets us down. We've seen how God worked in our lives of people from the past who have trusted God, even in some really tough situations. We know it's super important to trust God and believe that God is with us because that helps us bounce back even in the toughest situations. You all should know now that resilience is getting back up when something gets you down. That's something all of us need, right? All of us have things that knock us down, but we can trust to God that in the middle of those challenges and with God's help, we can bounce back and keep going. Last week, we opened the book of Hebrews to look back even further. We saw how God has helped people show resilience all the way from the very beginning. People like Abraham, Joseph, and Moses. Today, we're talking about looking back to the book of Hebrews to discover another important reason we can live with resilience each and every day. We can keep looking to Jesus. In other words, we can see how Jesus showed resilience by doing what he had come to earth to do. Jesus showed us the best way to live. Then Jesus died on the cross for our sins. And whether we've come into church your whole life or you've just started hearing about Jesus, it's the same for every person in this room. We can all think about Jesus and think about how he showed resilience. That will help us show resilience too. So before we start looking at the Bible story, let's celebrate what God is doing in our lives. I'm excited to praise God with you. I want to be like the men and women who we read up in the Bible who didn't let tough times stop them. They were strong because of what they believed. They lived in a life of faith. It's really important that we take time to focus on the things that matter the most. So let's put our focus on Jesus as we worship Him together. Get up on your feet and sing with me! You know, sometimes life gets hard. That doesn't mean we should give up. When the going gets tough and I want to give up, I will trust in you. Cause you're always gonna lead, always gonna lead, always gonna lead me through. When I'm feeling overwhelmed and almost want to quit, Hey, doing some trampolining? Yeah. Yeah, looks like hard work. It is. 
you know, whenever I trampoline for a long time, it always feels weird to, to, to jump off and, and stand on solid ground. You know, it always feels like my legs want to keep jumping, you know, like they're still on the trampoline. You know, does that ever happen to you? What? No. Oh, I guess it's just me then. <laughs> 99, 100. Oh, Wait. that feels good. Yeah, no, that's what yeah. I was talking about. Oh, I need some refreshments. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, that feels great. Oh, did you want some? No, oh. I definitely do not Here. want any. Please. Here you go. I'm gonna go run a mile. <laughs> Hello world! I'm John. And I'm Brandon. And you're watching the So and So Show! A show that highlights the importance of living life with joy, resilience, and a passion for what God is doing in the world. Exactly. And might I add, for five long years now, we've been doing a pretty good job. I would agree, my friend. It mm. seems like no matter what life has thrown at us. No matter what obstacles we've had to face. No matter how zany or silly things got. Nothing can keep us from doing this show! Oh. Oh. Sorry, chicken fell off. Chicken yeah, down. Yeah. Sorry. Chicken down. <laughs> Let me get that. All right. All right. All right. There you go. Can yeah. we can we do that again? Maybe, yeah. maybe don't hit the desk. No, 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 no. I got it. Can, can we can we reshoot this? Because yeah. the chicken has to be in the shot. Right. Yeah. Hello world! I'm John! And I'm Brandon. And you're watching the, the so and so show! Oh no. Whoa. Chicken down. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> funny. Can we go again? Yep. Hello world! I didn't even do anything. I know. Hello, world. I'm John. No! Tape it down! Tape. <laughs> Hello, world! Hello, world. You know what? I'm done. Me too. I'm done. Me too. Yeah. Uh, whoa, whoa, wait. We haven't finished shooting yet. Well, tell that to the chicken. Yeah, the chicken doesn't want to do its job, then neither do we. We yeah. quit. No, don't tell me we have a someone who knows stuff today. There is a someone who knows stuff, yes. <sighs> someone who knows stuff. Hi, um, do I just come in? Oh, no, sure, sure, sure. Just don't mind a chicken on the floor. Come on in. Have a seat. <laughs> yeah, just sit coffee. down right yeah, there. Right there. Hey, That's tell great. us. Who you are and what you know. That's okay with you, chicken. Yeah. Did I come at a bad time? Sorry, sorry, no. It's it's the chicken. Yeah. Please. Hi, I'm Andrea and I play soccer in college. That's great. Let me ask you something here, Andrea. When everything is going wrong on the soccer field and nothing seems to be working out for you, don't you just want to yell out, I I I give up. It's over. It's so hard. I can't handle the chicken. Yeah, I felt like that before, um, except for the chicken part. <laughs> no, look, we apologize. The chicken has been very disruptive today, and, we, and we've decided that this is our last show. We're quitting. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. That's weird, because just recently, I almost quit playing soccer. Why? Oh, oh, was it a chicken? <laughs> no. <sighs> I tore my MCL and ACL. Your mickle and ackle? MCL and ACL. They're ligaments that hold my knee joint together. Ow. Ow. Oh. I tore them in the middle of a match about a year ago. It was some of the worst pain I've ever felt. Hmm. So I'm guessing that you couldn't play soccer for a couple of days, huh? Yeah. Try a whole year. Ooh. I had to have several surgeries, and it took a really long time for my knee to heal. I had to go to physical therapy and get back in shape, and it just felt impossible. Yeah. <laughs> That's when I thought about quitting. But you didn't. No. I realized I love the sport. I love hanging out with my teammates and I like contributing to something that was bigger than me. And in order to keep going, I had to choose to do the hard work, no matter how difficult. You know what, Andrea? I'm, I'm glad you came on the show today because I think you've helped put a lot of things in proper perspective for us. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna be late for practice. Uh -huh. See yeah. you guys later. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah, sure, yeah, see ya, see ya. Thank you for coming in. Wow, what an amazing story. I mean, that took so much strength. So much determination. So much courage. Yeah. You still wanna quit doing this show? Oh, definitely, because I can't handle the chicken! Yeah!
Hey, fellas, don't leave. It's not our fault, Kellen. Blame the chicken. The chicken. I know. I've been watching. I sort of get your frustration with the chicken, but I need to tell you the Bible story before you leave. I guess you're right. One last time? Um, aren't you guys going to, you know, I'll just do it. <clears throat> it's Bible story time with me. So, fellas, have I got some verses for you. Awesome. And today, I've brought one of your favorite motivational guests to help me share them. Please welcome to the show my esteemed colleague and fitness guru, Horvath. <laughs> Horvath, what's up? Hello. Dude, are you okay? No. Oh. <laughs> what? What's wrong? My Bible sizing days are over. Oh, no, not you too. I broke my littlest fingers. <laughs> and now I can no longer exercise. <laughs> Evers! Boo-hoo! Boo-hoo-hoo-hoos! Are you crying? My dear ducks are so muscular, they don't allow tears to escape their pores. <laughs> oh, boy. Well... It looks like I'm going to have to tell the Bible story and lead us in some exercises. You can do them with me, Horvath. But my pain gaze! Okay, well, it's time to Bible size with Kellen. I'll share some Bible verses and then periodically match an exercise of my own invention to help you remember them. Cool? Boo-hoos! Awesome. Today's verses are found in the book of Hebrews chapter 12. The writer of Hebrews wrote, let us throw off any sin that holds on to us so tightly and let us keep on running the race marked out for us. All right, first exercise. I call this one the throw and run. Good names. Yeah, thank you. Basically, you hold your hand shoulder high and do a squat. And when you come back up, you throw off everything and run in place really fast. How many should we do, Horvath? Ah, uh, 482. Right. Why don't you count for us and I can do the exercise? Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Ready? Goes. One. <laughs> two. <laughs> thread. <laughs> fountain. Uh, not a number. 492. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I feel great. Are you sure you don't want to join in, Horvath? Mm, Boo-hoos! Okay, <gasps> next part. Let us keep looking to Jesus. He is the one who started this journey of faith, and he is the one who completes the journey of faith. Okay, second exercise. I call this one, look to Jesus. Oh. All right. We'll start squatted down into a tight ball, then, we will leap as high as we can, putting one hand over our eyes as if we're looking to see as far as we can. How many of these should we do? Oh, uh, 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 let's do a big numbers. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, two. Okay, you count. <sighs> Ready, <laughs> goes. One, two. <sighs> Theater. Oh, okay. <laughs> Phosphorus. Phosphorus. <laughs> two. Oh. Ugh. Ah, yeah, what's next, what's next? Oh, okay, uh, next part, and this is really important. Ready? Ready. All right. Jesus paid no attention to the shame of the cross. He suffered there because of the joy he was looking forward to. Then he sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. He made it through these attacks by sinners. So think about him. Then you won't get tired. You won't lose hope. Okay, third and last exercise. We take our arms and we let them hang by our sides. Then we flex our arms with our index fingers pointing to our brains. Then we're going to push our pointing fingers down to our hearts. And I call this one, think and live. 
and we will do this. No, one. we will do this one 127 times. <laughs> Whoa, Horvath. Are you sure? I am more sure than ever. <laughs> All right, but your pinky. And I will just have to fight through the pains, boo-hoos. <laughs> okay, take it away. All right, ready? Goes one, <laughs> two, <laughs> thistle, yeah, <laughs> Fonzie. Whoa. 127! Oh! <laughs> Great job! Now let's do all the exercise again really fast! Ow! Oh, 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 but... Go, um, go, go! Oh, okay. uh, uh, right, let's uh, keep on running the race. Throw and run! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, let's keep looking to Jesus. Look to Jesus! Oh, ah! <laughs> Think about Jesus and you won't lose hope. Think and live! Oh, ooh, ooh. Yeah! That was excellent! <laughs> uh, what made you fight through the pain of your broken uh, pinky? Oh, I was listening to everything Jesus did, how he never gave up, even though it was going to be hard. I was perspired. Inspired? Yeah. All right, Ooh. I love it. What did you guys think? Uh, well, I think maybe Brandon and I need to think a little more like Horvath does. Yeah, with your brains and your heart. Ow. Jesus didn't let anything get in the way of his mission here on earth. Exactly. Jesus kept going when life got tough. He never gave up. And because of his life, death, and resurrection, we can reconnect with God. And we have an amazing example of how God wants us to live. Thanks, Kellen. Oh, oh and Horvath. See you, fellas. Yeah, throw the loose! You did thing. Well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, it's not your fault. We were in the wrong. We're not giving up on this show or you. Yeah, or you. We're whispering to a plastic chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Reveal the question. Oh. Oh, what can help you focus on Jesus? Yeah, you could read the Bible. Yeah, or, or you can pray. Or just think about all he's done, especially when times are hard. Oh, yeah. Then you can be inspired to keep going. Yeah. Talk about it together. What can help you focus on Jesus? And we'll be right back here next time, like always, for another so-and-so show. <laughs> I can't believe we were going to give up because of a chicken. <laughs> no, we were so silly back then. Oh, totally. See, I'm not even phased. Oh, no, me neither. <laughs> All right. Jumping's my life, man. I can jump all day. I can do anything while I'm jumping. Oh, oh you can. You yeah. think you can make a bowl of cereal? Sure I can. All right, let's see. Uh -huh. There you go. Here. Oh, a bowl too. Oh, yeah. Lemon <laughs> in my mouth. Oh, they went the wrong way. <laughs> my kids are so proud. <laughs> As we navigate this life, we have choices of where to turn in the face of hardship. The author of Hebrews say that to run the race of life with perseverance and resilience, we should focus on our attention on Jesus. Suppose you learn a close family member you love becomes sick. One might worry about losing their family member and have an overwhelming sense of helplessness. To fix your eyes on Jesus could look like praying to God to thank Him for your family member and to ask for healing. It might be the way you find comfort when life seems super stressful. So many of you play sports and do extracurricular activities because it's fun to be on a team and to compete. Suppose you are injured before the big game or a dance recital. Those who want to play would feel a great sense of disappointment. However, to choose to Jesus and turn to Him during this hardship would look like choosing to show love, patience and determination. Or it could look like showing up anywhere to cheer your teammates. This always allows you to reflect Jesus' example to your entire team. So following Jesus is like running in a race. The goal is to obey God, love God and love others. We can think on the great cloud of witnesses Hebrews talk about who set a great example before us. And like them, we may mess up along the way, but we can keep going for God like they did. 
At times we will say and do things that are not reflecting of Jesus. But we can't let our mistakes stop us from trying. We can't let our hardships take our gaze off Jesus. We can face any challenge when we remember how Jesus kept going and we can keep going because of what Jesus did for you. As you continue with your day, think about this one question and talk to your family and friends. What can help you focus on Jesus? You will likely want to focus on your fear or disappointment or sadness. But is there something or somebody who can help you focus on the most important thing, Jesus? Before we finish up today, let's pray and thank God for sending Jesus to be our Savior and comfort through whatever we face in life. God, thank you for sending your son Jesus and thank you for loving us so much that you sent Jesus to be our Savior. We could never truly understand or imagine what it was like for Jesus to endure what he did for us on that cross but we are so grateful that he did. I pray that we would always look to you for our help. And when we feel knocked down by life, remind us to think of Jesus and what he did for us so we can find the strength to get back up again. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, it's been amazing talking to you and I hope you learned a lot about resilience. I love you and see you next time. Bye!